For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's find the tensions developed on cables A, B, A, C, and A, D. So the first thing I want to do is the sum of the forces in the X is equal to zero. So in the X, we have uh, a B going straight in the positive um, X axis. So we got a B positive minus a C has this component right here. To find this component of a C, we got to find this projection of a C. The projection of a C into the X and Y plane let me write it right here, AC into the X and Y plane is equal to AC times the cosine of 60 degrees given right here and that comes out to be 0.5 AC now that we have this projection to find the X component is the component right here it's the same as the component right here and we know the angle between the projection and the Y is equal to 30 and is sitting on the X and Y plane. Therefore, the X component of AC is equal to negative because it's going on the negative X direction. The projection XY times the sine of 30. The projection is 0.5 AC, negative 0.5 AC times the sine of 30 and that comes out to be 0.25 AC. So back to the sum of the forces in the X, minus 0.25 AC. And then we have uh, AD, and AD can easily be found the component on the X by doing AD times the cosine of the angle it forms with the positive X axis given. So it's AD times the cosine of 120 which comes out to be negative 0.5 AD and that is equal to zero. So this is our first equation. Let's call it equation one. So sum of the forces on the Y is equal to zero. On the Y we have AC and the Y right here is this component right here and it's given by the same projection which is 0.5 AC times the cosine of 30 so that comes out to be 0.433 AC minus because we have a D going towards the left because they give you the angle that it forms with the negative Y therefore it's minus AD times the cosine of 60 AD times the cosine of 60 which comes out to be is equal to zero and this solves to be 433 AC minus 0.5 AD is equal to zero and I'm going to call this equation two and last but not least some of the forces on the C is equal to zero on the C we have the AC component of, of uh, the C component of AC, which is a component I just drew, which is easily found by doing AC times the sine of 60, plus AD, which is also going up, and they give you the angle that it forms with the C axis, which is AD times the cosine of 45, minus the 300 pound force going straight down right here. And that is equal to zero. So this is 0.866 AC plus 0.707 AD is equal to 300 and I'm calling this equation 3. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab equation 2 and I'm going to multiply it. I'm going to multiply it by negative 2. So every single value multiplied by negative 2. When I do that the equation 2 becomes minus 0.866 AC plus 0 0.707 I'm sorry 
it becomes uh, plus AD because 0.5 times 2 is 1 and it's negative 2 so it's positive 1 is equal to 0 so this is our new equation 2 and I'm gonna rewrite it right below equation 3 let me scroll down a bit to have more space so I'm rewriting this right here and this is minus 0.866 AC plus AD is equal to 0 and then I'm gonna just add them together when you add these two equations together this is point and this is positive these two cancel out AD and 0 0.707 AD is 1.707 AD and 300 plus 0 is 300 so you solve for AD and you get that AD is equal to 175.7 pounds you can then plug that into equation 2 and you get that AC is equal to 203 pounds and then you plug these values into equation uh, 1 up here that has all, all values and when you plug these values into equation 1 you get the last one which is AB and is equal to 138.6 pounds final answer for AB final answer for AC and final answer for AD Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.